How's it going you guys? It's me once again and this time I'm back with another figure review um, and as you can see we have the boy Bardock in all of his glory but this is not just any normal Bardock. Today we are reviewing a holy grail Dragon Ball Z Bardock Manga Dimensions Grandista. Um, and you know, the Grandistas are pretty notorious um, for being very big, well-sized figures. Um, my criticism of the Grandistas usually are they're not very diverse in posing and not diverse in characters. Up until recently, we were getting a lot of Gokus and we still get a lot of Gokus. As you can see in the back there, I have the Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct Grandista Goku. Um, and this is actually my first Manga Dimensions anything. Um, if you're a real collector out there, you know that there's a lot of Manga Dimensions uh, versions of other pieces, like the Super Master Stars usually gets a lot of Manga, uh, manga Dimensions or other various uh, figures. Um, and if anybody's curious, I, I mean, because I reside in Illinois, there is a store called Nakama Toys. I would suggest that you guys uh, go to that website if you want a reliable store that sells really good figures from Japan. Um, priority shipping, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, before we get into the detail of the figure, um, every Manga Dimensions comes in a different box uh, than the rest of their normal counterparts. So, if this wasn't Manga Dimensions, it would come in a standard Grandista box with like shady, like shaded black and white versions of the character and pictures. But because it's Manga Dimensions, they have something completely different. On the side, it's got Shenron. And my favorite part of the box, not only is the aura effect in the back and in the logo front, but the background. The background, I don't know if you can really tell, but it looks, it, it has the atmosphere, uh, kind of like the tones and shading from the one scene in the film where Barak is fighting Dodoria and Dodoria's men um, in, the, in the TV special. So that's what I like. I also like that it has his name in Japanese over there, Badaku. And then on the side, we have a uh, profile of you know, the, uh, the upper body face. And then on the back, we have the box. Just showing another picture of it. And of course, for all those hardcores that want to see, yes, this is legit. Got the sticker of authenticity there. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. First off, like most manga dimensions, this is a standout piece. I will never, ever give this piece away. I'll never, ever, never sell it. Nada, it's not gonna happen. This is my favorite Bardock figure for sure, automatically. As you see with all the other manga dimensions, this just pops out. Absolutely just stands out with the shading. It is unreal. It looks three-dimensional, super three-dimensional, in fact. And unlike most of these figures that are not manga dimensions, it has incredible shading. Look at that. Three different tones on the muscles, and then also a light effect, as if the sun is gazing over him. And as you can see, and I, I draw, but I'm not like a, I wouldn't call myself a professional artist or anything, but I can, because I draw and I'm, I love art, I can truly appreciate the level of detail going into the shading below the hair follicles, around the scalp, or underneath the eyes. Um, it's just unbelievable, especially, uh, I think the most pop out part other than uh, the shading on the legs is honestly the armor. Like, oh my goodness. I mean, even the bloodstained headband has shading. And one of my favorite reviewers, the DBT Collector, he always gives a criticism a lot of these figures not having shading on the back. But as you can see, that is not the case with this beautiful piece. Just look at it. Even the tail has shading. The tail doesn't even look real. It just looks unbelievable. This is an incredible piece. And I think not only because of my bias of this being my first manga dimensions. I mean, look at that, come on. Look at that shading in the armband. But also, just because it is a standout piece, it's literally flawless. There's literally nothing better they could have done. I mean, they even added shading to the hair. 
it's just it's just beautiful and it comes with the stand um, which some of these figures do need desperately like the Brandista Vegeta I mean he has a stand but it's just pathetic how he slouches over but this piece stands on its own I absolutely love this this is a 10 out of 10 no doubt um, like I said it's nearly a foot tall because this manga dimensions the price will be higher than the normal price for a Grandista so don't expect it to be super cheap and if it's cheap it's most likely a Chinese bootleg but yes this is the manga dimensions product absolutely recommend it you got the chance please find it online anywhere and just buy it I mean just look at this you can stare at it all day because of the amount of shade but yeah you guys tell me what you think if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section down below until then peace